Hey there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our online class and celebration blog hop. It's a double whammy today, two extra special things. We are going to be creating some beautiful projects today using some of Stampin' Up's celebration products. I'll tell you a little bit more about celebration in a minute. These are the cards that we're going to be creating today and I absolutely love them. We're gonna be doing a, a, window, a window card technique here that's really easy and fun to do. In addition to that, it is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's Blog Hop Kickoff and our theme is Celebration. So we're going to be creating a lot of things with uh, Celebration products. So following this video, you are going to want to pop on over to my, my website by clicking on the link in this video's description or going to stampwithtammy.com. And it'll all be there. We have the instructions on how to do it. I have some amazingly talented group that are going to be uh, sharing projects that we have been creating just for today, just for you today. And you will be able to take the tour and we have a special giveaway for you. So today I have two different types of giveaways. Both are free. One is the blog hop entry. After the video, pop on over there. On my, While you're on my blog, you can download the free PDF for this project. Check out the resource page, get all the information there and leave a comment with the hashtag stamp it contest. And that will enter you once into the blog hop drawing for the Soft Sayings card kit. Now you can enter for this multiple times by leaving a comment on each blog in the hop. And with that same hashtag stamp it contest, we will draw the winner on our next blog hop next month, which means we have a new winner from last month that is also listed on the blog. So you want to check all of that out while you're over there. And so that is the first giveaway. The second giveaway, this is a biggie. This is my live giveaway and I am still having technical difficulties. I'm not going to be able to actually draw this one live. I'll, I will draw it immediately following the live. And this one is for the Lasting Lily stamp set. And this stamp set, absolutely love it, right? This is a celebration level two stamp set, which means you can only get this free for a limited time with a hundred dollar order. So I'm giving two of these away. They're very hard to get and we're also using this stamp set today. So it's part of celebration. It's part of this offering. It is fabulous. A very, very popular one. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment here in this video. I am broadcasting uh, live on two social media networks right now on my Facebook page and on my YouTube channel. All at the same time, we're recording live. The replay of this video will always be available. And if you are on my blog or YouTube channel watching the replay, I have minute marks so you can skip ahead to the parts you want to see. I like to make it easy for you. Uh, so, and, and I know a lot of you are re-watching this, want to see the actual stamping because you're copying something that you weren't creating at the time that we're making it. So you can skip right ahead to that part just by clicking on the minute mark there. All right, so that's our giveaways. Two different ones. Want to leave a comment here on this video and one on my blog to enter both of those today. A quick little in the know segment to keep you up to date with what is happening in stamping world and with me because I have two really awesome specials that are happening in one ends tomorrow. That is the flash free shipping sale that I'm offering. It ends tomorrow. You need to email the orders to me because this is a personal sale. So my store won't recognize it. And it is combined with celebration. So now's the time to do it. Now's the time to get in and, and get your orders in. Details on that are on my website. In addition, I am offering a free grab bag special, and that is for my online VIP club. Second best deal. The best deal is always joining and getting the discount. But the second best deal, if you're not ready to do that, is my online stamp club. I have a library of over 10 years of exclusive videos, written tutorials, techniques, and projects just for my VIP club members and my Stamp It Demonstrator group. It is awesome. I add three new videos every month. In addition, every week I add new bonus card tutorials. So lots of great goodies um, on that VIP group. The grab bag special ends the end of the month. So um, in addition to that, I should add, you get free catalogs for me automatically. You get free stamps at the end of your membership. And uh, I have also special deals that I offer just to my VIP group. So they have lots of special perks. And that is just an awesome way to go if you're not ready to join and you want to be, you want to get ideas and I, I love to keep you inspired. That is what I do. Today we are going to be working with Celebration. Celebration runs through March 31st and it's when you get free products, anything in, in the special edition catalog. And we had a second release, uh, which I'll show you in a second. 
And you can pick those with your orders of $50 or more. In addition to that, if you place larger orders, you get bonus stamp and rewards. And the best deal of all, and seriously, I think this may be one of the best deals of all time, and that is the demonstrator kit. And you can do this just for the discount. If you have $100 on your wish list, this is so the way to go because you get $76 free. Oh my gosh, what a great deal. That ends on March 31st. The details are on my blog or you can um, text me, or email me, sorry, at Tammy at stampwithtammy.com to get more information. But the kit has free shipping on it. You get discounts on all your orders. It's such a great deal. Um, again, there are information, there is information on that on my, on my stampwithtammy.com site as well as you can, you can contact me for more. Okay, so here's what's available right now during celebration for free. And I, I had to like post this real quick because um, some of the items have already sold out. Can you believe that? It's only February. So I'm going to put a big note here that these items are available for free. And celebration runs through March 31st, but this is while supplies last. Some items have been so amazingly popular. The, the ribbon, the wooden elements, the foil, and the, par the parcel post kit, they're already gone. Already gone. Can you believe that? We've been told we may see the ribbon again. I'm not 100% sure if that's coming back, but I will keep you posted on that. But if you see something you love, don't wait because it may not be there on March 31st. And as a result of that, I have another giveaway, right? This is not related to the video, but if you're up, this is just a Facebook comment giveaway because I had so many plans to share with you guys with this foil. I loved it so much. This is a free celebration foil that I stocked up on a couple packs. And now that I have it left over, I was like, well, let's give it away. Let's have a fun giveaway. It's just a, a Facebook comment giveaway. Pop on over to my Facebook page and leave a comment. And I'm giving, I'm giving my packs that I had left over away free there. So that's cool. And the last thing, and this, this is what everybody's been looking for and has been a little bit confused about because you've been seeing these dies that match the celebration sets. And you're like, where are they? I can't find it in the store. How do I get them? This is what's called celebration coordination. It's coming out on March 1st. I'm going to be using these products and I promise I will specify exactly what's available for free now and exactly what will come out on March to match it. These products match. There's four dies that match the celebration stamp sets, a, a punch that matches one of the stamp sets, and a new stamp set. They're awesome. You'll be able to purchase them on March 1st, so you can match. I know somebody said on one of these videos recently, they only only uh, purchase a stamp set if there's a coordinating die, right? So now you have coordinating dies with these stamp sets. That's amazing. So that all happens on March 1st. All right. Are you guys ready to jump in? So these are the cards that we're going to be creating today. And what you see here is a shout out of all of the celebration products that we're using in this card set. Oh my gosh, right? Lots of, oh, you're going to see a lot of products in action here. They are amazing. So let's pop down to the table and get started with some stamping. Again, leave a comment for my uh, free drawing for the Lasting Lily stamp set. And the Lasting Lily stamp set is a level two that you can earn free during celebration, or you can win it right now if you leave a comment on this video. I will draw them right after the video. If you're new, and this is, oh, I forgot to mention one thing that's really important. I have more Lasting Lily ideas to share with you at the end of this video. Don't, don't pop off and take the blog hop too soon because you don't want to miss these awesome ideas. Um, but the, the blog hop page is up there. The resource page is up there and this is on it. This is a free PDF, which I create with every online class that I do. It accompanies the class and this is here to help you. It's got all the measurements that I'm using. It's got all of the products that I'm using here listed out. It's got a QR code that brings you back to the video that we're recording right now. So you can, you can watch this replay on my blog. Um, and this, if you know how to use a QR code, scan it with your phone and it'll pop that, that video and resource page right up. If you don't know how to use that, you can just simply type this right into your URL. I like to make it easy for you. So this here accompanies all the, the uh, class today. And here's what we're making. All right. So we're going to start here with, and I'm having some problems picking this up on my phone. So just bear with me for one second. I'm going to going to tease you with the projects that we're making and see if I can get the comments to come up in the meantime. I apologize for that. Huh? My phone does not want to cooperate. There we go. Okay. Back up. I can see your comments again. Woo! <laughs> okay. So here's what we're creating. And 
I'll do the Lasting Lily one last. We're, these are window cards. Like, they're just quick and easy uh, peekaboo frames, window frames, uh, created with some of the celebration and, and friends. <laughs> Let's start with the uh, painted, the painted season bundle. This is a new one that came out in the second release. And let me just pull that out for you real quick so you can see it. This is the stamp set that we're using here. Now this comes as a bundle. It's the, the stamp set and the paper. This is the designer paper. So the bundle, uh, it's a level two. If you spend a hundred dollars, you get all the, the paper and the stamp set together. If you choose that. Um, and in addition to that, a new die set is also coming out on March 1st called Four Seasons Dies that matches the painted season. So we're gonna be using that too. So uh, this will be available to, for purchase on March 1st. These are available free. So I like that. We're gonna be using both of these right now. All right, so let's do some stamping. I am using Shimmer White cardstock today. I'm gonna try to zoom in and hold that up so you can see. Can you see the shimmer on that? I don't, it, it's really hard to pick that up on the video, but this in person, it's just an added spark for your cards. It's a little, little, little glimmer, little glimmery without any glitter coming off. But at the same time, you don't have to do any extra work, and it's very, very cool. The flower from the painted bund, uh, the painted seasons bundle, and we're gonna start with flirty flamingo. I'll zoom you out a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So, oh goody, we got some first timers on here today. That's exciting. Welcome, welcome everybody, but welcome to our first timers. Really excited to have you on board here. I'm painting, I'm painting. <laughs> Although they do look painted, right? These are part of those photorealistic stamps that are just so cool. And um, I just stamped that three times on the shimmer white, just a, just a scrap of shimmer white. And then I'm going to use that coordinating die set that's coming out on March 1st. It's called Four Seasons, and it matches it matches this painted season. So we just use this. I'll show show it with the die set. There we go. So this, see these pieces match right in here. So pretty awesome, right? This is the one that we're going to use for our flower. March 1st, the die set comes out. The Painted Season Bundle, though, is available now um, for celebration. Let's move that out of the way. And, oops, I might move it right there. So, we're going to use the Big Shot Die Cut Machine. I am using a magnetic die today. You could also use the platform that comes with it. And... So I've, and I've got a brand new, look at this, brand new cutting pad, never been used. I'm going to place that down. We're going to line this guy up. And once you line one up, they, they all kind of are facing the same way, so they're all going to line up. Then we're going to place one cutting pad on top. i get just a little bit more. I'm going to place one cutting pad on top, and I'm going to crank that through, and I'm going to do that three times. All right, so I've got a... <laughs> bonus through the magic of live broadcasting through the magic of video boop all done <laughs> i love the easy button right so those are the um put that over there with the set so these are the uh, the, the cut out cut out with the dies that match that painted seasons bundle now next up we're going to go ahead and create the frame oh no i'm missing a piece there it is we're gonna go ahead and create the, the frame that goes with this card. Actually, you know what, we'll do the frame last because we'll do the stamping right now. So, and this is, by the way, in case you were wondering, this is Highland Heather uh, cardstock. The color is Highland Heather, very pretty. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and finish the stamping here. So uh, these measurements, again, are on that free PDF on my blog, and this is the Shimmer White cardstock. I am stamping this jar, and the jar is from, this is actually in the big catalog, this is Jar of Love. It's actually been around for a little while, and it, it's an amazing set. So we're actually using the stem and the jar from, from the set. Now the reason why I'm using the Stazon ink with this one is because we're watercoloring. And I'm going to note, the Stazon does have alcohol in it, which isn't awesome for these, uh, it's not awesome for these... I don't think actually it's not alcohol, but 
it's not awesome for the clear melt stamp, so you want to wash this off right away. So you can wash it with the regular stamp and mist, but just make sure you get it off right away so it doesn't dry that out. And my stays on was a little bit dry. Let's flip that over and do it on the other side so it's so it's nice and dark. Look at you know what? Here's a beautiful thing about your paper. It has double sides. <laughs> so if you don't like what you stamped, you can stamp it again. You can also use the stamparatus. We're gonna use the stamparatus on the next card. There we go. Beautiful. You know what another great thing about stays on ink is? It smells like almonds. <laughs> How many of you out there sniff your stays on when you open it like I do with the paper? Super fun, right? I know. The silly things we do. So before I go ahead and close this, we're going to stamp the words. Now the words are going on a little strip of um, vellum cardstock, which is also, this is available, both of this, the shimmer white and the vellum cardstock are available in my online store. It's kind of hard to see that. You can kind of see it right there, but it is kind of hard to see on the video. The words that I'm using here know that a, today a friend is thinking of you and it's got a little heart. They also come from a celebration set called Part of My Story. This is a level one stamp set. Let me get that out of the way. Sorry. I just want, I just put those on there so you could see. Now, this is the stamp set that we're using the words from, but this also has a coordinating punch called the story label punch that will be coming out on March 1st. So that's another coordinating item that you will be able to purchase on. You'll be able to purchase this punch on March 1st. I'm not using the punch on the cards, but I did want to show it to you. So part of my story stamp set is the stamp set that we're using. And we are going to stamp that in the stays on ink. Amaretto. Yeah, you're right. Amaretto is the scent of the stays on. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp that right in the center of the vellum. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's really cute, Donna. She puts dimensionals on here so this the cover stays on. That's a really good idea, actually. All right, now the stem also comes from that Jar of Love stamp set, and we're going to go ahead and stamp that in some greeny apple green. And these colors are the colors I'm using on both the Flirty Flamingo and the greeny apple green. We're using these on both cards. All right, so we are going to go ahead and stamp these. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to stamp them. I'm going to watercolor. You could stamp them and let them dry, but I want to watercolor first because that uh, gorgeous, the, I'm sorry, not gorgeous grape. This one is granny apple green. Um, only the, the black stays on has waterproofing in it, and so it can actually bleed. So let's go ahead and do our watercoloring. I'm just going to put a little bit of grid paper down underneath us so we can watercolor. Now, the watercoloring, we'll just push that to the side. We are going to use that in just a second. The watercoloring, I'm using the ink pad refills. So <laughs> lots of uses for these ink pad refills. And this is Pool Party and Pineapple Punch. Um, but any of the yellows actually work here. Actually, I'm not using the yellow today. I was going to do the inside with the yellow. So scratch the Pineapple Punch because we're just going to use Pool Party. I'm just going to do the inside of the jar. So. You can put it on just about anything. I use, was using Pringles lids or Brad containers, old Brad containers, but right now I'm using a, an acrylic block. <laughs> so I just put a dab of ink right on that acrylic block. Also good for you need these anyways. When you purchase an ink pad, you want to purchase the refills so that you can refill it when it dries out. The, the ink pads will go on forever. I know I do love those scents, right? <laughs> She's, Diana's like... <laughs> To the paper too. I love the smell of designer paper when you open it up. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know it's a problem. I guess there are worse addictions, right? So this is an aqua painter. It's really cool because the cap just kind of screws on. You can put water in it. You can put other things in it too. We've, we've done some several techniques with the aqua painter. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this pool party and I'm going to test out. It's really wet. So I'm going to dry it off just a little bit. Test it off on my scrap paper before I hit my actual paper with it. There we go. That's about where I want it. And then I'll start down here at the bottom and work our way up. Now, this is part of the reason why I use the shimmer white here was because I was watercoloring and it the, the shimmer white just holds this watercolor really good. It's one of my favorite papers to use when doing this type of watercoloring. So I made it, a, I'm, I'm layering a little bit more on the bottom of the jar here so that it's a little bit darker down the bottom, like there's a little bit more water down there and a little bit less on top. You can kind of pull some of that water up there on top to make it softer. There. 
So that's our little watercoloring piece. Yes, are the closed captions working, Tina? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that is such great news. Um, yeah, we have been working on that for a little while. I have a couple of a uh, couple of viewers out there who have requested closed captioning because they are hard of hearing, and we have been working really hard to get that to work. And I guess there was a Facebook glitch, so it wasn't working on Facebook. Someone said it was working on YouTube. But uh, that is wonderful to hear, Tina, that that is working. That function is working. All right, so that is good news. Thank you for sharing that. I don't see it on my end, so... <laughs> oh, I do see it on my end. Yes, I do. It's not on my phone, but it is on my computer. That's great news. All right, yay, the little things. So back to the granny apple green. We're going to go ahead and stamp these. And, and like I said, I waited till after I did. You might want to wait till that dries just a hair so that the, the ink didn't bleed. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and stamp these kind of random spots in the jar, maybe one up a little bit so they're not quite exactly in the same place. So there's our stems. That's how we created the stems. All right, now that concludes the stamping portion of card number one. So now I'm going to show you how to make that quick and easy textured frame. And we are going to use another celebration product. So for the frame, I'll show you back to the original right here. We're creating this frame right here. This is the Country Floral Textured Embossing Impressions Folder. And that is now available. It was just released in the second release, uh, free with a level one, so free with $50 orders. It has been super popular. And these folders have a limited, like the stamp sets, they'll make more if we run out. But something like a folder or the, um, the papers, if they go, they're probably not going to come back because they won't be able to get them in time for March 31st. So if you have this one on your list, I would recommend getting it before because I have a feeling this one's going to sell out before the uh, end of celebration. We are also going to use a die set that is available for purchase. This came out in the Occasions catalog and it is called the Rectangle Die. So I'm actually using, and it's the third smallest. No, my bad, third largest third largest of the the rectangles right here one two this one number three so we're going to use that to cut the window i told you it was super easy right i was not kidding on that so we're going to use that to cut the window out using that magnetic platform and just bear with me because i was missing a cut I've still got that magnetic platform down there because I like to line up on it. We are taking the Highland Heather. Again, those measurements are on the free PDF. And, okay. Uh, Leslie, that's a good question. She is asking about the QR code on my PDF. You shouldn't need a special app for that, although they do have special apps for that. I'm just going to tell you right now, I've got the magnetic platform, two cutting pads, one under, one on top, and I just lined that, re the, the rectangle frame. Sorry, I should have backed out a little bit more so you could see that. Let me just, I'll back out for the next step. And that cuts out our rectangle, although it didn't cut it out all the way. Huh. Let's put it right back on there and get that little, oh, I love life, right? <laughs> it's always awkward. <laughs> But, okay, so if this ever happens to you, every big shot is calibrated differently. And I think the one down here, my, the one down here in my studio is so old, so old that, um, I don't know, I think it just maybe has been worn down. Because do you guys remember the time I was doing the video and the handle fell off? I mean, this is this is a good 12 years old, and it has been through the worn back. So I'm happy that it's still running. It's a testament to how good these big, shot, big shots are made. Man, that still isn't, I'm just going to snip it. But if you run it back a couple more times, it will cut. But I really think it is my machine, not so much the die. So this is our frame. This is the frame that we're going to use. And if you want to, you can use this for a layer on another card. Got a little bonus piece there. Now I'm swapping out the magnetic platform for the regular platform that comes with it. And you could actually use this to cut out that frame too if you want to. All right. So 
So I'm taking, where's that folder? This is again the country floral folder. It is now available as a celebration item for free. Super pretty. I'm gonna place that, the, the frame that we've made for the card right inside. And now we, it, this is a dynamic folder, so it's like a 3D folder. It's really got a really deep impression on it. And that one only needs one cutting pad. The regular folders need two cutting pads, but the, the dynamic ones only need one. Okay. Pamela's had the same big shot for 10 years too. I, they really are well made. Seriously, I'm surprised this, this puppy is still going with everything that I have put it through all the classes and thousands and thousands and thousands of cuts that it's had and, and being transported back and forth to different events. It has really, really survived quite a bit. So here is our textured frame with the country floral folder. So pretty, right? And we're just going to put that folder aside because we are going to use that again on our next card. All right, so next up, we just have some assembly for card number one. And if you're just popping in, welcome. And we have just created card number one of the two card set. We're using Celebration products. And this is part my blog hop project. So you're going to want to pop on over to stampwithtammy.com after and take the blog hop tour, not only for the free PDF, but you want to enter by leaving a comment there. And there's instructions on how to take the tour and check out all of my Stampa Demonstrators Group's awesome projects. So this I'm going to, now you can attach this with dimensionals, but I'm using the foam strips. These foam strips are um, available in the big catalog. I just thought they gave it a really nice pop and it was even, even all the way around. So if you're kind of peeking at it on the side, it looked nice and nice and smooth. And the thing with the strips is you only have to peel off that one long strip once. You know, the, the backing for the adhesive. And there's something nerve wracking about doing a live video that always makes it hard to peel. I don't know why it always makes it hard to peel off backings. Now, before I go ahead and attach that, let's go ahead and attach our words here. And I actually used, let me peel the backing off. I actually used this to attach the words. I'll show you what I mean by that. So the, the words were vellum. I wanted them to be soft, but I wanted them to show up. But I also wanted you to see the, the jar behind it. So that's why I chose the vellum for the words. Again, those words come from the part of my story Stamp set. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you. Diane says replacement screws for that big shot handle are available at Ace Hardware. <laughs> that is good to know. All right, so instead of snailing that down, this is what I did. Actually, you know what? I put it on the wrong side. Sorry. I actually want it on the other side of the... Let's see if we can lift this up. I actually want it on the other side here so it's popped up. I guess see what I'm doing there. I, I should have done it before I put the strip down. I should have laid this vellum down because I want it to pop up. I don't want it to be flat. Okay, that's not straight. And a little surgery. And we're good to go. All right, so now that goes over the front of our card like so. Quick and easy, right? And it's got our beautiful little saying on there. Next, we have just uh, the flowers to attach. Those I'm attaching with a touch of snail and a little bit of Stampin' Dimensionals. So the Stampin' Dimensionals, I put on the side of the flower that's going to be on the, the white. And then a touch of snail that on the part that's going to overlap because you want them to be popping out. You want it to be popping out of this frame. Right. So they just, they wow, they wow your, your loved one. 
because this is a card of encouragement, the words that we used on it. You could certainly change the words up, but it seems like when you send a card uh, like this with words of encouragement, you want it to pop up and, and say, I'm here for you. Okay, so a little bit of snail on that, and again, the dimensional on the part that's touching the white. And we'll go ahead and put that one down. And then the last one, I really wanted that to pop up, so I'm doing, using dimensionals and putting them right where it's going to hit that. be too much pop on the top there <laughs> can you have too much pop I don't know not in soda and not in cards <laughs> can never have too much pop all right there we go and that is card number one but wait 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 there's more just a small little section I wanted to add a little bling because I love the bling so I'm using these glitter dots and on this one I used the blue the pool party to match the blue that's in the the blue that's in the jar here. Oh, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Love you guys. That's awesome. You make my day. I give you my my heart right back. So you know, I can't I can't give the audience <laughs> hearts on Facebook like they can give me hearts, but I, I I'm giving you my heart right here. So I decided to go ahead since there's different sizes of these glitter dots, and I'm taking a take your pick tool here. I decided to go ahead and use multiple sizes. You could use all the same if you wanted to, but I just figured, yeah, why not use them all? Oh, sure, now you're going to give me a hard time. Okay, so I started with the largest one on the outside and then worked my way to the smaller one. If you don't have one of these take your pick tools, it pierces. It's great for, for lifting when you have nails. It's got that little putty end, but it also has other pieces like a spatula that you can lift when you make a mistake, like I did just now with the, the vellum, putting it underneath. Okay, so this is card number one. I'm going to bounce right back, especially for those of you who are late, and show you all of the awesome celebration products we are using today. So we've just made card number one. We used the part of my story stamp set for the words. That's a free celebration set. We used the painted bundle for the flowers. And we used the new frames that are coming out on March 1st that match the painted, the, the, ah, <laughs> the painted seasons. And the new frames that match it are called Four Seasons Dies. They'll be coming out on March 1st for purchase. So, and the country, the country um, floral folder for our frame. Card number one, and our celebration is complete. Sorry, I feel like I'm a little lopsided here. All right, so now we are going to create the lasting lily card. I love this stamp set. I'm going to be very sad when the stamp set is gone. This is beautiful. It's available as a level two um, product during celebration. So this is the stamp set. I'm giving two of these away, by the way. If you leave a comment, you will be entered to win here. So this is the Lasting Lily. It, it, this one actually is a level two, which means it's a $100 order. So worth it, though, just for that one stamp set. And coming out on March 1st, you guessed it, the Lily dies are going to match it. Woo! So you know what? I am sitting here talking, and I'm not showing you what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. Lasting Lily. I'm showing you the cards, but I'm not actually showing you what I'm doing. Lasting Lily stamp set. And here's the matching frames. And we are using almost every single frame in this set. Um, the only one I'm not using here is the smaller label. I, I almost did layer the labels on top of each other. But in the end, I decided just to go with a single layer for our words. The words also come from the set. So this set really has a great, great versatility. Um, it's got a thank you, I adore you, with sympathy, wishing you well, and then with moments you can't put into words. Lots of great sayings to go with these lilies. Just a beautiful, beautiful set. So let's go ahead and get our pieces for that one. First thing we're going to do is stamp our lily pieces. And I'm using Granny Apple Green and flirty flamingo and then the black for the for the words and on that one 
Where the heck did I put them? Oh, there we go. Words. Oh, on this one, I'm going to use the Stamparatus. So the words, I'm just going to go ahead. Now, this would also look beautiful on the Shimmer White. I really, I had designed this one first before I decided to do the watercoloring. So it's on Whisper White, but I really think it would look fantastic on Shimmer White. So the words I'm going to stamp in the middle of the panel that we're going to cut the rectangle out of just to kind of use extra on that one. So I, I have those on a block, so we'll do that first. I'll show you why, because we're not going to use the center of this piece right here. So why waste it? All right. Now, Stamparatus. Stamp positioning tool. Got to have it. Let me just show you something really cool. <laughs> do you guys, do you have this bag yet? I love this bag. So the bag was made for the Stamparatus. You can purchase this in my online store. And we also have this awesome grid paper. So it fits in there. You can get extra plates for the Stamparatus. They all fit in there. All the accessories fit in there. It's fantastic. I actually put this on the, <laughs> I put this on the supply list. You don't have to have it, but yeah, you do. <laughs> I had to have it. So of course, anytime we come out with a product, it's like, oh, we need a, we need something to, to store it in. So let's just move the words out of the way while we do this. And we are going to take the Lasting Lily stamp set. I'll take that. This is just a piece of scrap paper that I'm putting inside here. And with this one, we are, um, it doesn't matter where you stamp them on it because it's scrap paper and we're cutting all of these pieces out with that cool die set. But let me just show you something really neat here with this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all of the pieces that we're stamping in green. So the two stems and the, the leaf to the lily are all going to be in the, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank, green apple green. So let's do that one first. So I've lined them up. I've left enough room for our two pieces that we're going to use, Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to go ahead and put this plate. So I'm going to just move this out so you guys can really see what's happening. I'm going to go ahead and put this plate on here. And bingo. That lifts them up. So now this, is, this will be our block right here. And if you were making a whole bunch of these, you could just do these like bang, 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 do all your stamping at once. So we're going to go ahead and ink the paper up with those. Now, here is something that's really cool about the Stamparatus. Oh my gosh, do you guys see what I just did? <laughs> all right, seriously, that was hilarious. All right, seriously, just because you want to laugh and just because, I don't know, maybe somebody else has done this before, maybe not. I put them on upside down. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that because they kind of look the same front and see how weird they look. Okay. Let's flip this over and start that again. What a dope. Seriously. Sometimes I wonder. Okay. So this time, make sure that the stamping side is facing down when you do that. <laughs> oh, thank you for laughing at me, you guys. Seriously. Oh boy. And stamp uh, so the side down that is going to be stamped. Right there. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and pick that up. Now I didn't put those. I didn't put these magnets on really tight, so that's why they're kind of lifting on me. All right. Try again. Ink that up with the granny apple green. Oops, that's not. Oh, thank you. Jody says she's done that before. Thank you. I just had a misfire on that one, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right. Now we are going to take the two pieces of the flower. So we've got to make sure they're, they're, they're stamped side down. That's not it. Where did I just do that? Okay. Stamp side down here. There we go. Now this time, I'm not using the plate that I just used in case I want to make a whole bunch of these. I'm taking another plate and picking those up. I 
Thank you, Marsha. She says she loves when the lives catch all of those moments. <laughs> Makes you feel better, right? Oh, yeah, we all have them. Anybody that says they don't, they're lying. <laughs> they're a liar. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So I'm going to stamp that down. Now, again, we're stamping on scrap paper. Now, do you see how this kind of, eh, it's not the best image? I'm going to move my magnet just out of the way there. I'm going to redo it. So this is a beautiful thing about the Stamparatus is it lines up perfectly every time. So I could just redo that. And boom, it's perfect, right? Every time. So we have all the pieces now that we're going to cut. Move our plates out of the way. That's a, that, And that is just a quick, simple how to use the Stamparatus to line everything up in a quick and easy way if you are making cards in bulk. Because I personally like to make things in bulk. So you have them on hand if an occasion arises that you need them. All right. So I apologize for, uh, I thought I had put my phone on do not disturb, but apparently I didn't. All right, so now we are going back to the magnetic platform and we are gonna cut out these pieces and we're gonna cut out our frame from here. So let's do the frame first. I promised you I'd, I'd back out a little bit more on this time. So this is gonna be the frame that goes on the front of the card that we're gonna texture. And as you can see, we're not gonna use the center part. So it was a good place to put our words. And we'll just crank that through. I'm gonna crank it back just because my, my, my big shot is needing some calibration. Okay. I'm not even moving this because we're using it again. Okay. There we go. So now we've got our frame. We are going to cut the words to this one. And these are all using the Lily Framelit dies. These Lily Framelit dies match that lasting Lily stamp set and they will be available for purchase on March 1st. So I'm taking the larger. There's two label punches. I'm taking the larger of the label punches because... We stamped that in the middle because we figured why not? We've got a piece of scrap paper there. Let's use it. Let's utilize it so we don't have as much waste. And we'll stamp that right through. These little tips, right? And that gives us our words. We'll just put those aside. Now, next up, we've got all of our lily pieces. This is so wonderful. You guys are gonna freak. <laughs> Must have these dies, right? So these guys all line up. You can cut it all at once if you so choose, or you can cut them individually if you would like to. But I am one of those people that likes to bring all of my grocery bags in in one swoop. You know, they're piled. I've got 10 on one arm, you know, five on the other. and. I got, you know, my Diet Coke 12 pack and I'm, you know, wobbling in the door with it. And I'm also the type of person that likes to cut all of my big shot pieces at the same time. So there we go. We left a little bit of room here. So Rita's asking, can we pre-order these dies now? If you are a demonstrator, yes. If you are a demonstrator, you can get these dies now. Customers can order them March 1st. Demonstrators get them a month early. In addition to that, if you have $100 on your wish list and are thinking about that uh, demonstrator kit for $100, you can get all of these dies in that demonstrator kit right now. It's a great way to go and get a discount on all of your stuff. All right, so if you have a Ouija board here like I do on my magnet that doesn't seem to be lining up exactly right, you can use a little trick I like to call the posty note. Also, if you don't have a magnetic platform and you're using the multi-purpose platform that comes with it, this is another trick to keeping them in line. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a putting pad on top, run that through the big shot. Yes, it's supposed to make that noise. People in my classes always freak out when they hear that. They're like, oh my gosh, I broke it. And I actually, what's funny about that is I used to run a contest in the class because I would run those cutting pads. You can buy cutting pads on my, in the online store, but I would run them until they were completely, completely done. And I would say, whoever breaks the cutting pad, whoever's the one that breaks it in half after the you know 10,000 turns that it gets, gets a prize. <laughs> I mean, they're cheap enough to buy a new one. So this is what it cuts out through the magic of, of video. 
All right, and I'm just gonna push those aside because we have one more piece to do here. We're gonna texture this guy. And we're switching, we're switching platforms. I'm sorry, I should not have moved that over, but yeah, sometimes I get ahead of myself. So I'm not using the, multi, the, the blah, magnetic platform for this one. We're using the regular platform that comes with the Big Shot die cut machine. This guy we're putting back into, back into the, the Country Floral folder. Again, this is a celebration product that you can get free right now through March 31st. Were you guys counting? That was six. Six celebration items <laughs> that we've used so far. This is a dynamic folder, which means it's thicker than the regular impressions folders. It's more of a deeper image that it that it textures, and you only need one cutting pad. All right. And here we have our country floral textured. Again, if this was shimmer white paper, which I wish I had used for this one, this would have been just phenomenal. Phenomenal, but it is with the whisper white too. It looks great with both. Okay, now we're done with the big shot. Now we can move that out of the way. Now we'll move that out of screen because now it's time for assembly. Woo! It's that beautiful time. Now listen, we're going to assemble this. Don't jump off because I have a ton of ideas to share here with the lasting Lily stamp set right after I finish assembling this. And then you want to pop on over to my stampwithtammy.com blog because it is blog hop day, which means there is a ton of fabulous, fabulous projects made with Sailor Celebration is our theme. I think I nailed it, right? Six, <laughs> six celebration products and in, in two cards. That was pretty awesome. So you can enter to win our giveaway over there and you'll get some amazing ideas and inspiration from the group. All right, and that is, even if you're watching the replay, that is all available to you. We are taping this live, live in front of an in-home audience, I like to, to say, but the replay will always be available. All right. I also have a little sneak peek. I will be back on live tomorrow sharing what you need to know about the retiring in colors. Something you also may want to need to know if you're placing a free shipping order today. Um, you may want to stock up on some of those in colors. Just saying. Okay. So I use the foam strips. These are foam strips I just put around here. I'm going to peel off the backing. It's like a window frame card. This is kind of fun, and I love that the flowers just pop right out. Oh, thank you guys. More hearts. Love you. Mwah. Okay. So we're just going to line that up with the card base. And first off, I am going to do these, the, the stems, and those I'm putting on with mini glue dots. I just thought they were a little bit easier to, to work with for these particular things. So first we've got the single stem, the one that doesn't have the leaf. I'm just going to put a couple of mini glue dots on that. And then we'll stick that down. And that's going to kind of go, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding it a little bit underneath the frame here and then we will attach the leaf that we cut separately to go with that and that's going to go right off the edge right out popping right outside of the frame there some more pop Mary, I am planning on going live at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, but stay tuned. Uh, the videos are both scheduled on both Facebook and YouTube um, because that time might change. But as of right now, that's that's what I'm planning on. And I'm also giving away some really cool um, Stampin' Up! Floral 2 kit cases. So you don't want to miss that because those you can't get. Very, very hard to get. All right, so we've got our our stems now we're going to use some Stampin' dimensionals for the rest of these guys let's start with the big one so we'll just do them both at the same time now same thing we did with the last card 
I am going to use a dimensional down the bottom, but put a little bit of snail where it's going to pop out of the frame instead of a dimensional there because it, it will pop unevenly because the frame's already popped up. Now I'm putting that right over, over the die there. There's one. And this, this one, the second flower, it doesn't overlap the frame. So we're going to do two dimensionals on that one. Oh, thank you guys. Lots of love. Lots of love. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying the class. That makes me happy. <laughs> and two Stampin' Dimensionals on the frame. Again, that frame was also cut with the Lily die that matches this Lily stamp set that's coming out on March 1st. And stick that right on there. Beautiful, right? Quick, easy. Now, Again, I wanted to add some bling, same glitter dots that we used on the last card. This time I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green to go with the Granny Apple Green. And I use the same size here, so I'm going to take, we'll take the medium sized one. You could do medium or small, this. And I am using the Take Your Pick tool to, to attach that. Just a little bit of bliggy love on that one. All right, and our second card is complete. So these are the two cards that we created today using uh, the Celebration products from Stampin' Up. Love them, right? Absolutely love them. Let me back you up just a hair. And as promised, so we've got, this was Painted Seasons Bundle. This was Lasting Lily. And again, and friends, right? Because we had the matching die sets, part of my story, the country in, the country floral folder. As promised, I have a boatload of additional Lasting Lily ideas to share with you guys, just so you can, just so you can see some more ideas created with this stamp set. So I'm just gonna put this out here so you know what you're looking at. It is the Lasting Lily stamp set that's available free during celebration. Oops, I guess that's a little to the side. And in addition to that, you can purchase the Lasting Lily framelit dies on March 1st to match it. So this one using that the Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape together. Some more beauty using a similar, as our first card, using a similar color pattern here. Get you a little bit lined up there. Okay. Oh, thank you, Whisper Pat. You are so sweet. She's loving the shares. This one with the polka dot ribbon. This one actually uses the, um, the pressed tin folder in the background. That's a fun one. Here's a different color scheme. Again, you can see how easy this Lasting Lily stamp set goes together. It's just a quick and easy one. And here, they did a little spotlighting with the circle framelit dies. This is a beautiful color color scheme here, different outside the box. We've got a little, this is uh, Mango Melody on Night of Navy. So that one really, really pops. And I do have these samples on my stampwithtammy.com site. If you would like to see um, them, more of them up close and personal, click on the resource page, download the free PDF while you're there, enter the contest and take the blog hop tour for even more ideas. And there, here's this is our last share for today. Just an awesome, awesome uh, stamp set. Loved these, love these, love this year's offerings. Just absolutely beautiful. And before I pop off, so here's the cards we made with all the supplies and the supply list is on the resource page and also on the blog. I will add the chapters of this video um, now that we're about to end it so that you guys can jump ahead if you want to skip ahead and rewatch some pieces of it. And last but not least, stay tuned for tomorrow's video recorded live, replay always available on Facebook and YouTube. And that is what you need to know about the retiring in colors. Yes, Fresh Vig is going. Yes, Lemon Lime Twist is going. Oh my gosh. So look, we'll, I'll show you what colors are going, how to identify the products that have them, and which things you might want to stock up on early before the rush and before things sell out. All right, well, thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to pop on over to our blog hop and you have a chance to win this Soft Sayings card, uh, card kit. Thank you for joining me today.